On July 12, 1993, a powerful earthquake with a magnitude of 7.8 produced one of the largest tsunamis in Japanese history. The earthquake rocked the west coast of Hokkaido and the small offshore island of Okashuri in the Sea of Japan, generating a major tsunami. Within five minutes, extremely large waves crashed on the Okashuri coastline and the central west coast of Hokkaido. Extensive damage occurred on the southern tip of Okashuri Island at the town of Onoi. The tsunami waves reached heights of between 15 and 30 metres over a 20 kilometre section of the southern part of the Okashuri Island. Along the west coast of Hokkaido, waves were no higher than 10 metres, but damage was extensive. Given the sudden onset of the tsunami and its high energy, it is amazing that more people were not killed. On Okashuri Island, the hardest hit town was Inoue. About five minutes after the main earthquake shock, the first tsunami wave derived, flooding the southern tip of the island and the entire first row of houses nearest the coast. Two fires started on damaged fishing boats after this first wave. About seven minutes after the first wave, a second larger wave hit from the east, carrying the burning boats into the main town. The second wave travelled further ashore than the first and completely flooded the first three rows of houses. The horizontal run-up, or distance the wave travelled, was 5 to 10 metres throughout the town, with a combination of strong wind, the burning boats and damaged fuel containers. The fire spread quickly and destroyed over 340 homes. However, only two deaths were caused by the fire. On the northern point of Okashuri Island, 13 people were killed and all the houses were destroyed by 10 metre waves. The eastern side of the island appeared to be sheltered from the waves. The tsunami also hit hard the island of Hokkaido, arriving at Oita Bay within 5 minutes of the main shock and destroying 5 homes. Water run up in this area was 9 metres. Lots damaged by the earthquake, fires, landslides and tsunamis on southern west Hodaiko. 540 houses were destroyed and nearly 200 others damaged. I have really enjoyed learning about this tragic tsunami and I hope I get to learn a lot more about it in the future.